This is the last thing you see before you die. In Overwatch, at least. A ring of six bastions, each one outputting 450 damage per second for a combined total of 2,700 damage per second. It goes without saying that any tank caught in the crossfire will be completely eviscerated. But is there anything we can do to block all this damage with regular blocking abilities? Some Reinhardt players will call upon the Dark Arts in a situation like this. A high mouse sensitivity combined with a high DPI makes for incredibly fast spinning. Surely a technique of this caliber will be effective. Well, that was... anti-climactic. Maybe D.Va's defense matrix will yield better results? Nope. Good form, though. Any luck with Sigma's kinetic grasp? Still no. What's going on here? Although it looks like these characters can achieve 360 degrees of shield coverage, the server sees things in discrete steps known as ticks. If we view the shield spinning frame by frame, these discrete steps are made clear. On any given tick, Reinhardt can only block some of the Bastion's bullets, not all of them. Since the incoming damage is hitscan, Reinhardt only needs to be exposed to a Bastion for one tick to receive the damage. The same applies to D.Va and Sigma. It doesn't matter how fast they spin, the hitscan will always slip through. So shield spinning is not very effective against hitscan, but projectiles are a different story. Like the Bastion tests, six rockets provide enough damage to instantly melt a tank. But with fast enough spinning, incoming projectiles can be blocked from all directions. In fact, it's pretty easy to do with D.Va and Sigma, since their Matrix and Grasp hitboxes extend outward pretty far. Like the hitscan example, the server processes everything tick by tick. The difference here is projectiles have a travel time, so the shields can be swept across the rockets while they're in transit. Reinhardt still takes splash damage and eventually dies, but D.Va and Sigma can completely nullify incoming projectiles for as long as their abilities last. Even Genji can deflect all six rockets without taking damage. If you're not a frequent player of the No Limits mode, you may be wondering if any of this is practical. After all, a team cannot have six Bastions or six Pharahs in a regular match. How does shield spinning hold up against a varied team with projectiles, hitscan, and beams? Since this technique is only effective against projectiles, you can expect to negate about half of the incoming damage. You will eventually fall victim to hitscan or beam damage. The only time I can see this strategy being useful is when you desperately need to stall a capture point against projectile characters or if you need to eat a pulse bomb when you aren't sure which direction it's coming from. Other than that, it's mostly just a flashy way of informing the other team that you are screwed. If you want to test your own scenarios, here's the workshop code I used for this video. It has configurable settings, so you can choose which heroes to spawn in. Just keep in mind you will need a very high sensitivity if you want to test shield spinning properly.